My name is Lauren Eiferman. Welcome to my studio. I'm an artist, a sculptor, a painter. I draw, but these days I mainly work in wood and wood sculpture. And before I give you a full tour of my studio, I wanna show you a little bit about my process, so come. So this is my pile of sticks. I call it my sea of sticks. And what I do is I start out every day with a walk in my neighborhood in the woods and collect sticks and branches. And I bring the sticks back and then I clean off the bark with a simple spoke shave and let the wood sit here for a long time to make sure the wood is dry and not gonna crack or check and there are no bugs in it. And then I start out with the drawing, the drawing that I want my sculpture to look like. The drawing acts like a road map. And I actually consider these wood sculptures to be drawings, but in wood. And the way I go about creating my work is like here is a stick, right? And if I wanted a circular shape in my sculpture, I would cut the piece of wood here and then maybe here and then maybe here. And I would take these small pieces of wood and join them using dowels and wood glue. And then I make a putty and I fill in all the open joints, wait for the putty to dry, sand it, reapply, and I usually do this puttying process at least three times to have all the lines be uniform. So for instance, this sculpture here called Black Hole, which was based off of images from the Hubble telescope that was beamed back to Earth. This piece has 244 small pieces of wood that have been joined together. Now, when I work, there's a lot of downtime because I'm waiting literally for the putty to dry. So I might work on making a small sculpture in between. Frequently I'm working on two to three pieces at a time. I also draw and I, drawing is much more immediate than my wood sculpture. So I get inspired by looking at images from the New York Times, and then I paint over them. Sometimes I use earth or Karandash crayons or graphite or sand. So each one is different and it's much more immediate rather than the sculptures, which can take me a month to two months to make. So on this wall, a lot of the floral pieces are all Voynich inspired. I am inspired by the Voynich manuscript and it's currently housed at the Yale Beinecke Book Library. And when I found this manuscript online, it was this gut punch of almost feeling like I created this in another life. It's written in a language that hasn't been deciphered. It's filled with plants. The first section is an herbal section and filled with plants that don't quite exist in nature with these 
really strange roots and rhizomes. So I'm someone that used to paint my dreams. And when I found this manuscript online, I went, whoa, I can't, I almost truly felt like I created this in a past realm. So I am now translating these images into sculptures. So for instance, this image over here is, has turned into a 3D sculpture over here. I'm taking the work that was done in the late Middle Age, Ages and turning it into something that's contemporary. Um, this drawing over here, the top part over here, I turned into this small little green sculpture over here. This one over here is a root system from one of the Voynich pieces. This is sand in here and then I painted it over the wood. And all these pieces, like there might be, be made up of four different, five different pieces to get the shape that I wanted. Now this piece I'm working on now is this piece called Seeds of Change. I was shocked in July to see the little airplane maple seeds fall to the ground already. Like, this is July. This should be happening in September or October. So, um, starting to create this piece, and you can see here how I'm getting the shape of the wood where I cut small pieces. And this is um, paper pulp. This is the first stage of the paper pulp. I am now working on these small and emphasize small, like some of these pieces are teeny. And this is the first stages of a new Voynich piece that I'm working on.